Hello and welcome to Game Grin's weekly news roundup, bringing you the latest news in gaming from the past week as it happened. Microsoft has been trying so hard to convince you to buy their new Xbox, so much so that they've now dropped the price by another £30, meaning that you can pick one up without the Kinect in the UK for £299. Since its first reveal and launch price of £429.99, the console has dropped three times in the last two years, while Sony's PlayStation 4 has remained undefeated at £349.99. The price drop is effective immediately, so you can jump in now! Just make sure you keep an eye out for the bundles available, as some include either Evolve or the Master Chief Collection for the same price. For PC gamers, as promised, Techland have officially released their developer tools for Dying Light. These tools will allow you to create your own survival story within the world of Dying Light, and Techlang have also released a six-part video guide that explains all the ins and outs of the tools available. The tool allows you to create new maps, stories, and share them with all on the Steam Workshop. Great for those who want to create their own zombie-infested scenarios. For players of the MMO Wildstar, they might be interested to hear that it might be going free-to-play. Retailers in Australia have been instructed to return all stock related to Wildstar, a move which was seen shortly before The Elder Scrolls Online announced it was going to be buy-to-play. The stock remover was only a short time before certain subscription types were removed from sale from the official site. It could be for many reasons, but past experience hints at being because of a move to free-to-play, or like ESO Online, a move to buy-to-play. From one MMO to another, Destiny fans will be happy to hear that Expansion Pack 2, House of Wolves, is coming May 19th and will be available part of the expansion pass. There's a new trailer release for its announcement, but it's merely a prologue to the game's non-existent story. And one thing that has been confirmed, however, is that the new expansion won't have a new raid, which will annoy many. For Steam users, it's now finally an end to all those friend invites from people who have no games and a level of zero. Thanks to Valve's change to Steam policy, they also cannot participate in green line voting, which will also cut down the number of the false votes that some projects get. A list of restrictions has been made to those who don't have an account with $5 worth of activity, which includes sending friend invites, opening group chat, and voting on green light. Now in order to gain access, you must either purchase a game or games through Steam worth $5, or the equivalent to your country's currency. Needless to say, this is certainly a big improvement and stops these pesky bots from spamming and trying to scam users. And finally, the big news this week. It was Star Wars Celebration Week, and not only did we get our second teaser for Episode 7, but we got the Star Wars Battlefront reveal. According to reports, the game will release on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC on November 17th, and the new reveal trailer, which came during the game's panel at Star Wars Celebration, shows off a rebel assault on the forest moon of Endor, and features a series of icons such as AT-ATs, speeders, and even Darth Vader. Some details that have been confirmed include 60fps gameplay, split-screen support, and the ability to play in third or first person. And a reveal trailer is all well and good, but let's hope we get some actual gameplay very soon. And that's it for your weekly news roundup. Links to the stories can be found in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more news, reviews, and gameplay. Till next time, game on.